Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the much anticipated review of Fenty makeup. I did ask you guys in a Twitter poll if you wanted me to review it. Sorry my hair is really messy. My um, hair curler has given up the ghost. It's just, it's gone. It's uh, kaput. So I have kind of half curled hair, half straight hair. Ugh. So I need to buy myself a new curler. Anyway, I know that currently your subscription boxes are full of Fenty reviews and here I am to add another one to the mix. And if you don't know what Fenty is, it's a uh Rihanna's makeup line. Rihanna's full name is Robin Rihanna Fenty and I am a massive Riri fan. I mean massive. However, that's not going to sway my feelings towards her makeup because if I don't like her makeup, I don't like her makeup. I mean, I'm not going to like it because I like her music, you know? They're two different things. Unpopular opinion right now. I know everybody's like Queen B, Queen B, but I am like Queen Riri. Rihanna is just one of my favorite artists ever. I just think she's incredible. Incredible, incredible. Anyway, besides all that. Right, so I went to Harvey Nicks in Dundrum and I picked up a couple of bits and bobs. So if you want to know where to get Fenty makeup, Dundrum is your man. I will go through the prices. So the prices are actually not too bad. I only picked up three items. This is mostly gonna be a foundation review and just like the primer and stuff. Oh my God, my eyes look awful today, sorry. I'm just, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in a very good place at the moment and I just look like, I don't know, death warmed up. So apologies for that. And the foundation was 33 euro. The primer was 31 and the highlight was 33. So not too bad. I mean, the Estee Lauder Double Wear is what, 35, 36 euro. So I think that's pretty cool. This is what the packaging looks like on the Fenty products, which I think is super cool. Like it reminds me of her anti album, the way she kind of has like graffiti type thing on it. I just think it's really nice and uh, very, very sleek packaging, lovely. The foundation comes in a sick amount of colors, guys. It comes in 40 different shades. So from the very, very pale to the very, very deep, she's bringing out more shades. She's also expanding the line. She has mostly at the moment, it's highlighters and face. Like it's mostly about this skin. An awful lot of people were like, why didn't she bring out a dark lip? And why didn't she bring out this? Guys, she brought out 40 foundations. I don't think we could expect anything more right now. The brand will expand as it grows in popularity, obviously, and as people request things. But this is like, this is like in its baby phases. I want to show you the primer because I've actually opened the primer and had a look at it. I haven't even looked at the foundation yet. It comes in like a pinky nude shade. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really sleek. Comes in a frosted glass bottle. 32 ml, which is 1.08 fluid ounces. I think I'm just going to apply this to my entire face because why not? We'll just go with it. The consistency of this is slightly thick. Very mild scent. It kind of feels more like a uh, cream. Like, you know, face cream, moisturizer. When you just want your skin to be nourished and hydrated, that's what this feels like. It's supposed to extend your makeup and blur out your pores. Like, it, it did make my skin look a lot better, actually. So I'm gonna move on to the foundation. Now, the shade that I got was number 240. Thought I might be 290 from looking at reviews online. Thank God I went in and actually swatched it. 290 is very olive. This is what the foundation looks like. So Sephora say that it is a soft matte long wear foundation with build with medium to full coverage in a boundary breaking range of shades. Pro filter soft matte long wear foundation gives skin an instantly smooth pore diffuse shine free finish that's easy to build. It does say on this to shake well and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to apply this with a sponge, a beauty sponge and a brush. This is the Sigma Curved Kabuki F83. I adore this brush, holy grail status for me. I have oily combo skin. This foundation has a pump, which I love. And I think that foundation is actually a pretty good match for me. I'm just gonna see what it's like to blend out with a beauty blender on the right hand side. You never really know what foundation do you like when you're applying it. You're always like, oh, is it gonna be really full coverage? Or is it gonna be medium coverage? Am I gonna end up caking my face? So less is always more. The sponge is definitely giving it like medium coverage. I'm not seeing like too much full coverage, but it is giving me a nice finish. This foundation is very matte looking. I will say that like it's not dewy at all. This is actually one of the most matte foundations I think I've tried in a while. Very runny. You can see like it's running off my hand there. So it's not really a thick consistency. And as you can see, when I apply it first to how it dries down, it does dry down a little bit darker. So just do be aware of that. I know there was a lot of people saying it oxidizes. It's that it dries to a different color, but oxidization, drying, whatever. 
it goes a little bit darker. So the brush as usual would give me a little bit more coverage. This is definitely giving me a lot more coverage than the sponge side. Extremely easy to blend out guys. It's probably a little bit closer personal for you but you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It just makes my skin look airbrushed. It looks fabulous. It's not seeping into any fine lines. I do have like a little line here that everything seeps into and it's kind of seeping into that but nothing around my mouth definitely not around my pores not anywhere it looks it looks flawless guys i love it i think this is the first time over first impressions that i don't really care what way i apply it generally with any first impressions of a foundation there'll always be like one way i prefer applying it with a sponge or a brush but this foundation looks flawless applied both ways. I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face and pop back to you guys in a little bit. The time now is 11.29. They probably started this review around 11 o'clock. I'm gonna try and keep it on for 12 hours. I'll probably update you like on my vlog because I'm actually not home today. So I'm, I'm out and about like I have stuff to do. So what I'll probably do is update you on my vlog and I will tell you about the wearing of it. Currently, I'm loving it. I think it looks great and my skin looks flawless. It's quite matte. I'm happy out, really, really happy out. So I will talk to you guys shortly and we will discuss how all the other products went on my skin. Hey guys, so I'm back for like my first update, I suppose, since I applied this foundation. The time now is 12.47 and the foundation's been on for just over an hour and a half. I wanna just apply the last Fenty item before I talk about the foundation. This is the Duo highlighter. Out of all the highlighters that I saw that day, this is the one that stood out to me the most. And it's a Duo product, so it looks like that on the inside. This is in Kilowatt, so it has Mean Money and Hustla Baby. In all the highlight duos, one is a little bit more highlighting than the other, and the other one's a little bit more of like a matte kind of glowy highlighter. This one just seemed to be the one that would work with my complexion the most. And then they have cream stick highlighters, which I probably will pick up again. I'm gonna go in with with mean money first. I'm just gonna see what this is like because I'm gonna build up the intensity and just apply that to, ooh. Like for the side that's not too intense, that is really, really pretty. It's just like a subtle highlight. It's kind of like what I would describe the dandelion twinkle as, you know, like one of those subtle highlights. That is beautiful. This was 33 euro, which is such a good deal for what you're getting because you're getting like two highlighters and I've paid more for MAC ones. This is super pretty. So before I actually put on the other highlight over it, because I just think that's so pretty, I'll tell you what's on the rest of my face. Eyeshadows I'm wearing from the Subculture palette. I'll link down the tutorial that I used to create this because I just redid it because I really liked that look that day that I did it. I just thought the greens were really nice, so I redid the look. The contour is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which looks like that. I used my NARS Radiant Con creamy concealer underneath my eyes, my Laura Mercier loose powder to set that, and then I set my face with the Golden Medium from MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Is there anything else? My lashes are from Mosquito. These are my favorite ones. These are called the Grandiose. I absolutely love them because they like flare out in the size. They just look really, really pretty. I don't know, I just love them. Lip Combo is Addiction from Rimmel and Blankety from MAC. So there we go, I think I have everything. I'm gonna apply Hustler Baby to the top of my cheeks again. I'm just gonna apply it over the top because we're already, oh my God. This is insanely blinding, guys. Look at this, it's like a foiled. So pretty. Oh my God, the pigmentation and that. I'm really gonna have to kind of blend that out a little bit because it looks like a stripe right now because it's super pigmented. Oh my God. Guys, are you seeing this? Guys, I am super impressed with what I've tried so far today from Fenty Beauty. The only kind of neg comment I have to make, and I haven't heard anyone make this comment, is it's kind of grabbing on to my little hairs on my face. So like the little hairs over my lip, which I never ever have a problem with. Like I don't do anything with the hairs on my lip because they're not like overly in your face. But today I feel like I have a teeny, teeny, tiny tash. So I don't know if that's the foundation like grabbing on or just the primer underneath. I'm not sure. We'll see how it wears and I'll call back to you later on. Call back to you, I'll be here later on. Hey guys, so I'm actually just doing this update now. I'm heading out to my friends, so I said I better do this now. I'm in the countryside. Why I'm not at home today, because I'm away. I'm looking at this in my mirror, and can you see that, guys? Like, how much it has seeped into my pores on my cheeks? 
that doesn't happen to me normally especially if I use like a pore minimizing or a pore filling primer but I can see like it has seeped in a little bit there definitely seeped in a lot over my brows it doesn't look too too bad if I kind of am zoomed out a little bit here but I'm definitely looking oily a lot more glowy a lot more oily than I was earlier on it's transferred a little bit like it's okay I'm not mad about it at this stage of the day like it is currently oh wait hang on I get my phone it's currently 451 so it has been on for we'll say just a little over five hours not exactly what I would like it to look like at five hours it's oxidized or like I don't know if it's looking evident on camera but it's definitely a little bit more orange this is a major thing for me these pores we'll see how we get on with the wear a little bit more i'm gonna this is obviously a natural lighting i'm gonna update you later five hours in this is how it looks it's not amazing definitely not the way it looked this morning how excited i was about it as the day's going on i'm kind of like mm. so i will see you guys in a little bit it's particularly late right now when i'm doing like a vlog style my hair looks like a hot mess it's just gone half 11. foundation's been on for 12 hours guys it didn't hold up it really didn't it doesn't look good it has clung to like the little hairs over my lip like it did earlier but it's looking a mess right now on my skin you can probably see i know like the lighting's not great but i'm telling you guys <laughs> that the foundation didn't wear great it's worn down all here like look how my contour is like stuck to it as well highlights still looking still looking good my big issues on my face cheeks chin and in between my brows and over the nose didn't hold up doesn't look great wore off where I wore my glasses I am so sad to say that it's a bit of a thumbs down for me regards this foundation I'm gonna give it another go another time with a different primer just to see how I get on but currently I'm not really pleased with it I don't like how it's looking on my skin I tried so many foundations even from the drugstore that don't look this bad at this time than like after 12 hours of wear it clogged and clung to certain areas and it's just looking heavy on my skin and if feels kind of heavy and it hasn't kept my oils at bay at all i am just very disappointed in this foundation and high hopes for it but look we'll give it a go again and i'll see how i get on first impressions not impressed guys i hope you enjoyed this video sorry about this vlog style that i'm doing thank you so much for watching guys i love you so much i'm gonna take my dirty face off and get into bed i love you Mwah. night night bye